Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be they jealous. Your shift is happening. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they are jealous because your shift is happening. All right. You know, y'all. You have to accept the fact that your shift is happening. A lot of people don't feel as if they are worthy of having a better life, okay? They don't feel like they are worthy of entering into a new chapter. They don't feel as if they are worthy of having bigger blessings, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say bigger blessings. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say bigger blessings, all right? Now, as y'all can see, y'all, we are outside. You know, getting the steps in, y'all, because health is wealth, as always, okay? But, you know, y'all, we got to get the steps in, family, because uh, I could tell that I've been losing weight, dropping weight. Uh, not only that, y'all, but i just been feeling better. I've been feeling like I've been glowing, okay? And so, knowing that y'all been watching me, I know for a fact that all the other chosen ones and rich minds out there have been glowing as well, <laughs> you know, y'all. But um, with that being said, family, we're going to go ahead and get directly into this video. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get to it, y'all. And by the way, I'm sure y'all can see it's quiet out here, y'all. I hope don't nobody come out here with a lawnmower with a leaf blower, okay, with they dogs, and now it's all in my video. I just hope they don't do it today, y'all. I hope. But as soon as I said dog, I, I think I heard barf. I heard it. But it's all good, though. Okay, y'all, so I want to start this off with a scripture, family, because this scripture right here is one of those scriptures that a lot of people miss uh, look or look over. Okay, and so Matthew chapter 20, verse 16, it says this right here, y'all. So the last will be first and first last. For many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, let me say it louder. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, Matthew 20, verse 16, it says, So the last will be first and the first last. For many are called, but few are are chosen <laughs> listen y'all that's good news that's good news okay this means that everybody who feel like they've been losing everybody who been feeling like everybody is you know above them it seems like their blessing never comes okay understand something y'all it's the time is over with the time is over with and what i mean by the time is over with now it is your time for the shift to happen okay it is your time for the shift to happen and so with that being said y'all i need y'all to realize this the uh those who were last y'all are now about to be first okay so number one y'all the first sign your shift is actually happening okay is god is speaking to you all right god is speaking to you and so whenever you reading his word reading that bible okay understand something it's like god's words is going to resonate directly and specifically with you okay it's almost like everything he's saying was designed for your eyes to see and for your ears to hear all right when god is speaking to you it's going to be directed to your exact situation i need y'all to realize something this is a major sign that your shift is, is happening right now. And so people are going to be jealous because all they can think about is, are they gonna leave me? Are they gonna leave me in the dust? Are they gonna change up on me? Are they gonna switch up on me? The whole nine, y'all. And the question is, they're not, you're not going to switch up. You're not going to change. What's gonna happen is they gonna switch up and they gonna change on you. I heard Jay-Z say once, uh, one time, y'all, um, whenever you become successful, it's not that you change or switch up. 
it's the people who are around you that change and switch up. Because it's almost like they are looking for the mess up. It's almost like they are looking for you to get your first piece of big money, your first property, your first opportunity, and just leave them in the dust. It's like they're looking for it. Okay, I was having a conversation with somebody and they was like, yeah, man, I look for the worst in the person so I can just see, you know, how to maneuver. I, you know, I look for the worst. I said, man, that's, that's actually not wise. Why are you looking for the worst in the person? That's called being pessimistic. We got to be optimistic, right? Whatever you're looking for, you will find. That's why it says in the scriptures, y'all, that knocking doors will open. Seeking you shall find. That goes for negativity and positivity. That goes for negativity and positivity. And so what I'm saying, y'all, is that people are going to be jealous because of your shift is happening right before their eyes. They are seeing you change. They are seeing you shift. They can feel the change and they can feel the shift. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I feel you, Reno. Oh, yeah, y'all, we talking heavy on this, on this, uh, I want to say Sunday morning so bad, y'all. But we talking heavy on this, I want to say, today is Tuesday, y'all. Tuesday or Wednesday, all right? On this Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon. Y'all can correct me down below in the comments, all right? And, of course, it depends on where y'all coming in from. But the point is, family, is that you are having a, a shift and it's happening right before your eyes. And all your enemies can see it. All your enemies can feel it. All your haters can see it. All your haters can feel it. All right? And this causes them to be jealous. This causes them to make presumptions. Okay? They are going to assume that you are doing certain things that you know you're not doing. All right? They're going to start placing stuff on you. Just putting stuff on you. Trying to destroy your character and trying to make you feel bad. All right. But I want y'all to understand this. Don't feel bad about the blessings that God is about to load you up with. Somebody drop in the comments and say, load me up, God. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, load me up, God. Because when God bless you, it's going to come in a huge load, a huge load. OK, but sticking to the point, y'all, God is going to start speaking to you. And also, before I get to number two, he may start speaking to you through people. Yep, he may start speaking to you through people. So people may come up to you and give you a divine message. All right? People may come up to you and they can be able to quote or they'll be able to quote your whole life situation. And you're like, hold on, who told you? Who talked to you? That was the Holy Spirit itself. That was the Holy Spirit itself. Okay? So God is going to start speaking to you. Whether you are reading his word, all right? Or if you are you know, just listening to uh, the person that he has chose to be a servant. All right. Everybody who come in your life, y'all, is not coming with a BS message. Some people are actually anointed by God to tell you something. All right. Number two, it's going to be this family. Sudden changes. All right. Sudden changes. So you're just going to start feeling different, y'all. Okay. Your thought patterns are going to change. Your character is going to shift. OK, you're not going to be the same individual. You're not going to feel the same way. Why is that? Because it's sudden. All right. Just like when y'all hear of a, uh, a newscaster or, so, or a reporter say it was a sudden disaster. That's the same thing with this, y'all. It's going to be sudden, meaning nobody could predict this. Nobody could see this or foresee this. Nobody knew that you was going to have this sudden change on the inside of you, including you. Listen, y'all, you're probably going to start feeling different within your thoughts. You're going to start feeling different, you know, within your character, right? You're going to start feeling different. Um, I seen a post, y'all, on Facebook, and they said, don't only cut ties with the person who did you wrong but cut ties of the person or cut ties from the person that you were to allow them to do you wrong. Rena, what are you saying right now? When you have this sudden change, you are now cutting ties with the person who you used to be. <laughs> I'm talking heavy, y'all. You are now cutting ties with the person that you used to be. Okay? 
And so with that being said, y'all, understand something. Your thoughts are going to switch. Your character. And when I say character, I'm not saying you're going to become a terrible person. I'm not saying you're going to be a selfish person. I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to be a narcissist or conceited person or whatever the case is. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is you're going to have sudden changes in your thoughts. All of a sudden, your thoughts just going to be different, right? You're going to have millionaire thoughts, okay? You're going to have thoughts of becoming a better person, personal development thoughts. You're going to have thoughts of achieving more success. You're going to have thoughts of, you know, setting new goals and actually achieving them goals. You're going to have thoughts, y'all. That is going to take you out your situation. Thoughts that's going to take you from zero to hero. Thoughts that's going to take you from being last into now. First, thoughts. See, what people who fail to realize is thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you will be able to make it to come to fruition. Or you will be able to turn it into fruition. Just with the idea of a thought. Okay, how powerful thoughts are, Reno, when God created Adam and Eve, he didn't give them uh, clothes. He hid the clothes on animals. When God created Adam and Eve, he didn't give them a table. He hid them in the trees. Reno, what are you saying right now? See, it's going to be a sudden change with your thoughts. God is about to give you a million dollar idea. And it's about to change your entire life. It's about to change your whole family life. It's about to change the trajectory in which you are going. You are about to go from being a borrower to a lender. Sudden changes. That, <laughs> listen, y'all, next thing you know, people going to start saying, oh, all of a sudden, you think you're doing it, huh? All of a sudden, you think you missed the big shot. All of a sudden, you think you missed Big Shot. Hey, it beats me because all of a sudden, God just blessed me with this thought. All of a sudden, God just blessed me with this new character. Listen, somebody drop in the comments and say, all of a sudden. I'm telling y'all, it's going to be a sudden change. Okay, get ready for it, y'all. And this is what's going to cause people to be jealous. You're going to see that jealous spirit just sitting inside them, y'all, burning up. Getting hot, burning up, because they know that where you're going, they can't go. Everybody can't go. Somebody drop it in the comments as well and say, everybody can't go. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, everybody can't go. All right? Number three, y'all, new desires. New desires. See, when you are about to have a shift to happen in your life, you are going to have new desires. All right? And so, this is what people can't stand about your new transition, about you having a shift that's happening in your life. This is why people get jealous because at one point, you were just talking about, you know, how you were just going to work at that job forever, you know, invest into your 401k, work there for 40 years, retire, right? You know, you, you never talked about doing anything other than the norm. You never really did. But when you start talking about, man, I think God got something for me. I think God has another idea for me. I, I think God has a, a, a higher uh, destination for me. I think God got something for me. And when you start talking that God talk, man, who you been listening to? You must have been listening to Reno Speaks Riches. And you're going to say, yep, I did. Right? But what I'm saying, y'all, is that people are going to be jealous because you have new desires, okay? New desires. It's very similar to a person who is in a relationship, okay? And let's just say um, they probably got a new job. Well, one of the people in the relationship got a new job. And, you know, now they're starting to make a little bit more money. And now they want to start doing things for themselves. They starting to work out, right? They starting to, you know, care about their physical body. They're starting to care more about their spiritual self. I mean, they just trying to improve themselves. You know what that other person in the relationship gonna do if they are jealous? Why you wanna do all that? 
Who you trying to look good for? They're going to start placing things on that person. They're going to start trying to destroy that person. They're going to start trying to, you know, make that person feel like they're wrong for trying to improve and become a better individual. Y'all know it's true. We all go through it. And that's the same thing with this, y'all. When you have new desires, people just going to swear up and down that I don't know who this is talking. You, you changing. You switching up. Okay? Don't fall for the trap. Somebody drop that in the comments as well. Don't fall for the trap, family. All right? Uh, number four, y'all, it's going to be this. Supernatural miracles. Now, this right here is one of my favorite ones. I'm going to tell y'all straight up and down. Supernatural miracles. Oh, I love me a miracle, y'all. I love you. I love to see how amazing our God is. I love to see it because, you know, you got this thing that exists and they are called atheists and they don't believe in the most high. <laughs> you know, y'all, I like to say that an atheist is a person who don't believe in themselves, right? An atheist is a person who do not believe in themselves. And so what I'm simply saying is, how you doing? And so what I'm saying is, is that whenever you are um, doing something, you know, for yourself, or whenever you, that kind of threw me off track, y'all. But what I'm saying is, is that when, whenever you believe in God and whenever you believe in yourself and you believe in what it is that he has for you, okay, um, that is a clear indication, y'all that you have the faith that it takes to have that supernatural miracle. An atheist is a person who don't even believe in themselves, okay? An atheist is a person who don't even believe in what God has created and built for them. This is an atheist. And so all I need y'all to realize is when you have the ultimate belief, the ultimate faith, you're gonna see supernatural miracles. You're going to see supernatural miracles, okay? Things that happen that does not even supposed to happen, all right? You're going to see things that happen, all right, that you didn't even believe could happen. Things that exist that you didn't even believe exist. Rina, what are you saying right now? People will be jealous of your supernatural miracles, all right? Right, right, then you you ain't graduate. How, how, how is it that you can get your degree? Okay. Keisha, all you is, is is just a stripper. How is it that you can become a businesswoman? How is it? Understand what I'm saying, y'all? Supernatural miracles. Supernatural miracles. All right. Bills getting paid that you didn't even know how it's going to get paid. All right people blessing you and you don't even know these individuals things happening for you out the norm it's beyond it is beyond your intelligence it's beyond your knowledge it is beyond that and so what i'm saying y'all is that this is why people are jealous they see that your shift is happening because god is blessing you with supernatural miracles okay uh, the next one, y'all, is going to be number five. That is, unexpected doors will open. Okay? Unexpected doors will open. Now, I told y'all about expectations. I said that expect, uh, expectations are premeditated failures, which means we don't expect anything. And this is why, this is why those unexpected doors that's about to open, it's going to blow your mind. Okay, it is going to blow your mind. Why? Because God can open up a door that no man can close, right? He can open up a door that no man can shut. And see, everybody won't like that. The fact that you are able to walk in doors, the fact that you are able to rub shoulders with some of the highest people, the fact that you are able to uh, maneuver in certain rooms that they wouldn't even be thought of then, okay? They wouldn't even be thought of then. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? They are jealous that your shift is happening. Unexpected doors are going to open for you, okay? Listen, y'all, when I was working at Georgia State, 
when I was working uh, for that school, y'all, at Georgia State, I never thought, and I was making uh, tiny money. Like I was making like two, three hundred dollars uh, a week, tiny money. Like I didn't even see how it was gonna, <laughs> I don't know how I made it through that. But unexpected doors opened for me, okay? And also this is kind of, you know, close to like supernatural miracles as well. But I didn't understand how these doors was opening for me. I didn't understand it because I started doing YouTube and started seeing money that I never seen. I started, you know, creating digital products and I started actually walking into doors with my digital products. Things that I didn't know that could happen. Or I wasn't, I would say this, I knew it can happen, but I wasn't expecting for it to happen, especially not this fast. I never thought I was gonna be doing this, but that was an unexpected door that opened for me. And I'm telling you that people are gonna be jealous of the shift that's happening in your life, okay? But with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna make sure that, yeah, we got my man, we got the amigo here, right? But uh, anyway, y'all, yeah, unexpected doors will open for you, okay? But understand something, your shift is about to happen and people are going to be flabbergasted when it does, all right? But with that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and do a recap and then we'll conclude this video. So, number one, y'all, God is speaking to you, okay? Number two, sudden changes. Number three, new desires. Number four, supernatural miracles. And number five, uh, unexpected doors will begin to open for you, all right? And these doors, y'all, nobody will be able to close, okay? No man can close them. And so with that being said, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get a out of here, family. As y'all can see, we got the uh, we got the Los Amigos inside the video, okay? But at least we got the message out, right? But with that being said, y'all, if y'all would like to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and roll into my social influence course, uh, purchase any one of my books, okay? Or anything, y'all, y'all know the drill. Hit the link inside the description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality